Oh, you mean apart from putting a roof over your head, taking care of you, and tolerating your bratty attitude? <laughs> oh, honey, you really don't believe you take care of me, do you? Hey, what the hell are you doing? Saving myself from a splitting headache. tonight. Okay. Can you get away from me, please? You need to go have a shower. Leave me alone. Okay, what is wrong with you? You below? stink. That is what is wrong with me. Akin, this thing will take four minutes. Oh, I didn't know that considering you spent 15 minutes in the shower. Go well, sue me. Just get up and go and take a shower. Akin, go and take a shower. Leave me alone. Get up. Can please. Are you serious? Such a child. Are you still alive in there or you're laying an egg and watching it hatch? Go and use the guest bathroom now, huh? Oh my goodness. Seriously, what the hell are you doing? We're almost late for service and you entered the bathroom before me. Well, as you can see, I'm trying to get my makeup done. A woman needs her time to get it right. Okay, well, I'm an early bird. I hate going late to places. Tardiness is not in my DNA. Good for you. Now leave. Let me get my work done. You're distracting me. Help me! Charger. Do you have yours? What? I have. I, I, I'll just go get it. You had the whole night to charge your phone. 
This won't take long. Five seconds, I'll be back. Look, if you go into that house, believe me, I will leave you behind. What? We are going to church. You don't need your phone. We're super late and we might even miss the message. Oh, God forbid that happens. I mean, we all know how you like practicing the message. That was sarcasm, by the way. I'm leaving. All right. I'll take my car. Oh, I see what you want to do. You are going to church, you little demon. I'll wait. You like going? I hope you didn't forget anything else. Let's try it. Why? Because I want to pick lunch. What happened to cooking lunch? Today is Sunday, wives cook in their homes. Listen, I can go about talking about responsibilities of men, but I don't have time. At least let me eat food. Just stop, stop, eh? We eat out today. I won't eat out, not anymore. Eh, no, well, no. You cook for yourself. Me, I will eat out. Stop me at the restaurant. Okay, we'll see about that. Aki, you just missed the junction. Oh, did I? Stop the car. Aki, stop the car! Now what are you doing? Stop the car! What are you doing? Are you insane? You, you, you stop the car, or I will jump out. Your choice. You better stop it. Whoa, close it off. I, Fine, I'll down. take you. Stop it. Better. Psycho. Whatever. <laughs> No, I've not been avoiding you. There's just been a lot happening lately. You mean your weird marriage to silly little man thief? Hey, watch your mouth. Why? Why? Didn't she steal you from me? What do you expect me to call her? Baby, I miss you. Come over now. I can't come over right now. I have a lot on my plate. And I mean actual work. And this is all you've been saying for some time now. Come on, Debs. We're together two weeks ago. Two weeks? Two weeks, Akin. That's 14 days without you. Um, <clears throat> I have to go now. I'll talk to you later. Okay? Why? Where are you going? Is she there? Akin, answer me. Talk later.
in your back. How's work? Wonderful. What's for dinner? Hmm? Did you make dinner? <laughs> Did I make dinner? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Are you hungry? Obviously. Mm. <laughs> He's hungry. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <clears throat> you know, maybe you should go and meet one of those your nitwits you spend so much time on the phone with to make you dinner or chips. Mabel, mm. you think this is funny? Hmm? After a long day at work, I expect Abed, to come Abed, back. Abed, I'm not doing that with you tonight. It's exhausting. No, no, no. What is exhausting is the fact that you just wear the white badge and yet you know nothing about being a wife. Enough with that lie. Come on, Aki. It's getting stale. Try something else. Come on. Why did you get married if you know you're not ready for marriage? Honey, we both know how we got here. I mean, you could have declined because you know nothing about being a husband. And please, lest I forget, the next time you feel like receiving gifts from your nitwits, use your office address. Your gifts are there on the table. Somebody's returning my calls after about what? 17 missed calls. Hmm. You should totally pop a bottle of champagne. Or two. Why did you send a card and flower to my home? Oh, you got that. Is this a thank you I should be getting? <sighs> okay, stop. This is not a joke. You should have sent me a text. Right. Like you've been replying my messages all day. Well, you know I would have replied at some point. Okay, work has been crazy. Please stop, okay? This is not about her. Then what is it about? I've been calling you every time that I call you. It's one excuse or the other. Work, work, work. I'm just curious. Didn't you have the same job before you got married? Yes, but things are now more hectic. Akin, this is not what you promised me. You said you'll always be here. Eh? You don't love me again. I'm still here. Always will be. I have to call you back. Something just came up. This one that you are eating like somebody that just returned from the prison. What's the difference between my marriage and prison? I don't get the luxury of a properly prepared homemade meal. So please, let me enjoy it. Mm, I'm sure it is not as bad as you are painting it. Oh, it's worse. I'm just telling you half of it. Marriage is supposed to be enjoyed and not endured. Look at what you're doing for Uncle Shino. Hmm. How well do you treat your wife? See, every one thing I do for your Uncle Shino, 
He has done thrice for me. As you lay your bed, that is how you lie on it. This women supporting women thing that you're doing, can I even win with you? You see the problem? You always wanting to win. You can't win all the time. Marriage is a 50-50 affair. There's no competition in it. <sighs> My own is that if she continues like this, I might be forced to dissolve the marriage. <laughs> your parents will kill you, especially your mother. It will be a blow on their disorgies. I don't care. Is that who I think it is? What? When is she going to stop calling you? At least you should have the decency to stay away. You're a married man now. And that is not even the number one question in my head. What is the question in your head? Why is our number C stored as the love? You are married now. Thank you for reminding me. Oh. Now I get it. You are that guy. What? You don't want to be a husband. Yet you want a wife. You don't want to be the leader. But yet you want followers. You don't want to sow, but you want to reap. I don't get your point. My point is, you have a beautiful wife. Very endearing. Yet you're being foolish, thinking that you're going to end with wise results. And to be, I can see that you obviously don't want me to enjoy this meal. But you lie. Mm. Mm. Ordered some takeout. Do you want some? No, thank you. I ate some homemade meal at Auntie B's house. She also packed me some takeout, saying that I've been starving of good food lately. You know what Felix said before the wedding? What's that? He said, don't do it, bro. Run. Run for your life. <laughs> Man, Felix is silly. You know, but my is just a beautiful thing. I should have listened to Felix. Well, bro, doesn't really feel like you're married. You know, everywhere is still the same. For me, for most women, they would have redesigned the whole place. My fiance is currently doing that to my apartment. And it's creepy. Man, you're so lucky your wife doesn't care. I'm lucky, honestly. Are you for real? You, you think I'm lucky? <laughs> this guy. What else did you see? Bro, you're married to the daughter of a billionaire. The only heiress. Come on. Ah. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> you're drinking too much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, How did we buy this guy? This guy in particular. What's the coach to this tire me or no? This guy is a player now. See what your so-called forward is doing. See now, wasting passes. Okay, just watch. Now must be moving this one. I doubt it. Now wasting passes. Okay. Okay. Come on. Nice one. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Come on. Is that my juice box? Yeah. My smoothie? 
Yeah, yeah, I'll replace it. I see now, play back. Akin, can I see you? Guy. Yeah, we see all these people they pin them. I don't understand. What is it? They're just tired for them. What's the other bit for them? Like, like. Hey. Set some boundaries. You're married. Why are your friends gonna come here, open my feet, take whatever they like? Hey, like... babe, it was harmless, okay? And I've said I will replace it. It's not about replacing it, it's about not taking it in the first place. The next time your friends come here, they didn't buy their own drinks. When are they leaving? I will not even dignify that question with an when answer. When are they leaving? When we finish with the game. So they don't have their own house to watch the game, Abby? This is our tradition, okay? They always come over here to watch the Champions League final. We're not going to change that because we're married. Yo, what's up? that guy! Go! Now, this is the energy! Engaged. That means absolutely nothing. Babe, what's going on with all the questions? Mm -hmm. I swear we didn't mean to intrude. Oh, but you are. You are intruding in my life, my privacy, my space. Look at my living room. So we're going to clear it up. Good. Now, and when you're done, leave. Hey. Guys, sorry about that, man. It's crazy. Babe! Now! Oh, crazy night. Where is man? Go? That's alright, man. Oh, man. I don't know what we're gonna see, bro. Okay, let's see. Let's go, shit. Oh, man, that was wild, didn't it? Honestly, you know, I swear to God, buddy. <laughs> totally wrong. I mean, it's my house. I have the right to have my friends over. She can't just come over and lord all of us. I mean, who does she think she is? My friends are so embarrassed. True, it is your house. But you're failing to understand that it is also a house. You have to respect her privacy. You can't keep living like a bachelor, staying in a bachelor's pad. If you want to bring your friends over, you have to tell her. It is her right to know. And it is the right thing to do. Even at that, she doesn't have the right to kick them out like that. That's rude. Maybelle is even a good girl. Ah, to check me, 
omodo ni ma fi le iwa ti awon ore jade nu le ni aba na awon ti bi okay okay i get the joke but it's not funny she doesn't even respect me hey i get low respect is reciprocal if you want your wife to respect and honor you you have to earn it won kin ta loja I know you always find a way to make it my fault. Hmm. I am on your side, though. And I want your marriage to work. I know you better than your mother does. You have lived the better part of your life with me when she was heavily involved in politics. I know that you're a very loving person. It is that side of you that I want your wife to experience. I know both of you care about each other, but this ego thing is getting in the way. I'm trying. I'm trying. <sighs> anyway, this is the last time I am cooking for you. Don't come here looking for any homemade meal again. Hmm? Go and make up with your wife and let her cook for you now. If she doesn't know how to cook, get somebody to teach her. It is that simple. Mm. Maybe, maybe you will teach her. Yes, I can. Bring her. I will teach her. Oh. Come on. I'm here, aren't I? Well, you made me wait too long. I'm sorry, I was truly busy. Stop telling lies. You were already working before you married that thing. Watch it. Okay, I understand that you're upset, but there's no need to throw insulting words. Wow, look how quick you are to defend her. But you couldn't do anything to support me when they forced you into that marriage. Come on, babe. Let's not go over this again. I am here now, all right? Let's... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Come on. <clears throat> Look at you giving me that model pose. Miss World. Come to Papi. Hmm? Mommy. You are so annoying. And that is exactly... Aren't you going to take that? No. I meant every word. I'm here for you. I love it. All the things I did, I did. All the feelings that I told is true. Then you break to my heart and we fall in the fire. And I am drowning in thoughts of you. All the things I did, I did for you. All the feelings that I claim is true. Then you're breaking my heart and you're falling apart And I am drowning in thoughts of you Love, I never want to see you sad Love, I never want to hear you cry When you ever need me, I will be right there Baby, you can call me now Love, I never want to break your heart Love, I never want to leave your side When you ever need me, I will be right there Mabel? 
You've got to be kidding me. Look at that. She miraculously appears. Hi. What were you last night? Hmm. Out. Doing the same thing you've been doing. Hanging with friends. All through the night. Till the very next day. So? Migo. Are you out of your mind? You are a married woman. What kind of a wife leaves her home for a whole night without telling her husband? <laughs> you are such a bloody hypocrite. But I'm not in the mood to fight today. If I were, I would have asked you the same question. Coffee? No? Okay. Well, don't say I didn't give you anything. We're not done here. We're done. This is exhausting. I don't know how long we're going to continue like this. Oh, my darling, marriage is not a bed of roses. You have to be patient with your partner. Oh, my God. Daddy, my patience has run out. Honestly, I don't even think Akin is willing to be in this marriage. We're literally always on each other's throats. All right, we had to be in Lagos for a day or two. I'll stop over at yours. I missed you. I missed you too, darling. I missed you so much. Can't wait to see you. Right, see you soon. You're welcome to our home, sir. Ah, thank you, Aki. Do you want anything? We have red wine, champagne, fruit juice. I would offer you food, but my lovely wife here didn't cook anything at all. So what's going on here? What's going on where, sir? Your marriage? Oh, nothing much. We're doing our best to get by. Oh, just zip it. Stop lying through your teeth. Daddy knows about your irresponsible antecedents and he knows you know nothing about being a husband. I know nothing about being a husband. Wow. Spoken by the Encyclopedia on Marriage. Yeah, well, Mabel, calm down. Daddy, I'm calm. I'm calm. I just need you to understand my situation of things, that's all. Your situation? She doesn't cook. Let me rephrase that. She doesn't know how to cook. She doesn't know the difference between a skillet and a kettle. That's because I'm not your bloody chef. Who do you think I am? Who the hell do you think I am? You think I'm that woman that will cook, clean, and then watch you go from one skirt to the other? Here we go again. I'm gonna calm down. Daddy, I'm calm. Talk to him. He knows nothing about being responsible. Maybe you can teach him a thing or two about being a good husband. Oh my God. What's going on with you, boss? Huh? This is embarrassing. It's very distressing. See you call it this way. Now listen, you both. You can work things in the house. You can work things out. You don't need to quarrel over anything. This is a non-issue. You don't need to quarrel over it. I can't believe she went to her father. I mean, these are issues between two grown adults. <laughs> Coming from a guy who sits on this same sofa complaining about his wife. Come on, Auntie B. You know this is different. At least you don't go around holding a meeting with both parties. Aki, please don't be selfish. Who would you rather she spoke with? I mean, it's her father. You're lucky she didn't even go to your mother. Or worse, her father calls your mom.
I don't understand. Why does it look like everyone is against me? I am the victim here. I'm either visiting a local restaurant or going house to house looking for who can give me a good homemade meal. I mean, my wife is not submissive. Okay, I get it that she's a sports kid, but she needs to understand that I am the husband. I am the head of the house. But no! She's acting like she's the victim, but in the real sense, I am the victim. You need to calm down. Huh? No, I'm always the bad guy. You're not behaving like the good guy either. See, when I married my husband, I didn't know a thing. But he never for one day mocked me for it. He helped me. He taught me a lot of things. I'm not going to teach her how to be a good wife. I'm not her parent. But at least you can try to be a good husband. I mean, be the leader of the household. Let me guess. Debbie, right? What if the case was reversed? What if one of Mabel's ex was calling and texting? Debbie is a breath of fresh air. Seriously, Aki, you're just going to sit down there and not even deny it. What's the point? It's not like I can win with you anyway. And to be, I love you, but I have to go. Thank you for always having me. Coming. Hello, my love. Hey. Uh, you said you were sick? Yeah, I was. But you don't look sick to me. Well, I feel better now, now that I see you. But you know you don't have to lie for me to come here. That is manipulation. But you were not answering my call. I had to think outside the box. Babe. I'm sorry. I miss you. Sometimes it feels like like you've abandoned me. Come here. Hey, don't you miss me? Stay till it's daybreak. Ah, I'm sorry, I can't. I don't get to. Why are you so scared of her? Got me some slack. I came, I spent time with you. Now I have to leave. This is how it's going to be from now on. Aki, that's not what you promised me. You promised me forever. I'm doing the best I can. Aki, I'm, I'm not going to be a side chick. I am, there's no way I'm going to be your side chick. Babe, I wanted to marry you, but my parents said no. So, it's either this or nothing.
sorry. Okay. I was held back at the office because of the new contract you're about to sign. I'm sorry. to be a nurturer. Daddy, Akin is not a child. He's cheating on me. How do you know? You can't prove that, I just you? know it. The late nights, the secret calls, how do you explain him coming home only dead in the night? But, but dear, have you tried communicating with him? We don't communicate. We don't talk. I I'm going crazy. <sighs> you see, dear, can't we try another approach, another method, something new? Right? I know that your ego could come into things at times. You're my daughter. Try and become a good wife. You know, cook for him, humor him. Like, make him happy. See, sweetheart, your mother got to the highest level of politics. You knew that. But she never shirked from her responsibility of being a wife at home. Home was always the first. Hmm? So what if I try and it just doesn't work? Oh, sweetheart, just try. But well, then to what end? Well, just try. Try, okay? Sugar. Now you listen to me a little more. Aki is a married man. He has a wife and he's trying to build a family. 
Who is this? I don't care what your history is. Maybe I was this you. Stay away from him. Or I will destroy you. I have everything it takes to make your life a living hell. Look, you cannot threaten me. Mm, little doll. Don't let me pounce on you. If I do, you'll disappear. I will make a freaking Titanic out of you. <laughs> well, you do not scare me. A king loves me. Oh, you dumb bitch. But he's with me. Now think about that for a second. Then retract your steps and stay away from my man. Else, I will make you a casualty. She threatened to kill me. Come on, Debs. It's all talk, no substance. But that's not how we sounded over the phone. She knows actual stuff about me. She knows where I live. Baby, they're all empty threats. Okay, don't pay attention to her. She also said I'm wasting my time with you. That you'll never leave her. That's not true. I came. Do you even love me? What am I to you? <sighs> Babe, it's just a matter of time. Okay, and everyone will know that Mabel and I are not meant to be. Then you and I can be together. Okay. I love you. My father plans on giving me a major role at the company. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's about time. Besides, I will take over the company. So I resume on Monday. Why the surprise look? Are we not going to talk about it? Isn't that the essence of being married so we can talk about stuff like this before we make a grand plan? The same way we talked about your future plans of infecting me with STDs. Did your girl tell you I spoke to her? Tell her that I meant every word I said. My cousin Felix is coming in on Monday. What? It's for work. There's an important project I need him for. It's going to take a few days. Okay. No problem. Yes, Daddy. First day was fine, I promise. It was okay. Yeah. 
Well, no, the manager was actually very cool. If anything comes up, I promise I'll let you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm. I'm sorry, I, if I knew you were coming early enough, I would have properly planned for your arrival. It's not a problem, actually, you know. I wanted to stay in a hotel, but I can feel I'll work better if I stay here, so. That makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> Welcome. Yeah. Um, do you need anything? I, are you hungry? I'm sure your trip was long. Honestly, I didn't have anything to eat before leaving. Aww. Okay, well, I will whip something up for you. Yeah. Okay, let me show you. All right. This way. So good to have you around. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I mean, the meal was very delicious, you know. Well, you're welcome. It's the least I could do for my in-law. Very lifesaver. <laughs> uh, let me guess. You want to watch football? Football? <laughs> nah, I'm not a fan of football. Wait, what? Of course. <laughs> the hype and toxicity really turns me off. But don't tell anyone I told you this, huh? Oh, okay. You want to watch my movie with me? Uh, it looks interesting. Okay. Well, it's it's a thriller. Yeah. You fancy thrillers? Yeah. Yeah, you need to just... Hey! Cousin of life. Yo, you didn't tell me you've landed. Surprise, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. I'll just excuse you. <clears throat> oh. I didn't know your wife was this beautiful. All I keep hearing is she's too hot to handle and she gives your heart a race. She gives your heart a race for a good reason, eh? Felix, are you insane? Or is it that you've not taken your medication this evening because you sound really crazy? Am I right or right, man? I'm just going to ignore you and watch football. Then we'll talk about work later. Come on. Girl, you know I don't watch football. So I'll just be in. We'll see later, man. Welcome, man. Yeah, thanks. Welcome. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, we are preparing breakfast. I can see that. I meant... What are you doing? You want us to use them by eight, right? Yes. So I'm helping out with breakfast, though. Thank you. You're welcome. Aww. Yeah. Um, is there anything you need? No. You're so sweet. Did you hear that? 
I'm so sweet. <laughs> Can we change the channel? The Premier League is on. Remote. We're watching a movie. You need to watch this, bro. It's really interesting. Um, I'm talking about a live match. You can always watch this movie another time. Did you see that? Yeah. Take a seat, bro. Miguel, come on. It's two against one, bro. It's horror. It's quite terrifying. I'm sure. Hmm. Alex! <laughs> thank you so much for coming. Hmm? Yeah. You can thank me better by paying me faster, you know. <laughs> Alex! Yes, I hear you're leaving us today. Yeah. Aw, thank you so much for coming. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, please feel free to come anytime. Okay? Yeah, sure. Promise? Uh, yeah, I will. I mean, I had a good time. Great. <laughs> uh, you're leaving for work? Yeah, I have an early board meeting I need to attend. Oh, okay then. Safe trip, all right? Yeah, thanks a lot. Yeah. Bye, honey. Bye, You see, when you, when you talk about her, you make it look like she's some mindless zombie who just wants to chop your head off and drain your blood. Felix, that's because you don't know her like I do. She's just different with you around. You think so? Or is it because you're cheating on her? The cheat? No. Nah. I mean, if I could notice just a few days of staying here, bro, she already knows. What are you doing, man? You're playing with fire. You think Mabel will harm me? Nah, she won't. The other woman. Because she knows she can't have you. <laughs> She's not aiming at keeping you. She's going to ruin you. Bro, you need to stop all this rubbish you're doing. You may not value what you have now. But when you lose it, it's going to sting you. And it's going to hurt so bad. Trust me. Are you going to walk me? <clears throat> yeah, sure. <laughs>
Mabel Adesoji. Say Mabel. Christopher. Yes. When did you come? What are you doing in the country? I moved back months ago. You know, I came to take over my dad's business. You know, he passed on, right? Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry about that. How are you holding up? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. What's, what's wrong with your car? I, I don't know. It's just so frustrating. It just won't start. You know what? Let me give you a ride because we definitely need to catch up. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Just give me a second. Okay, oh, great. I don't understand. Since when did we start worrying about each other's movements? Where's your car? And who is the guy that dropped you off? <laughs> mm. I see where this is going. You think you're the only one with exes? Is that really the issue? Or you're just being mad because she has another man's attention? Auntie, everything is wrong. She's married now. Uh -uh. You're always quick to castigate me. Now it's her turn. She's not wrong. Hmm. If you had given your wife the right attention, she wouldn't go find it outside. Hmm? She's even decent enough not to bring him in. Auntie B, I can't believe you're saying all of this. I really can't believe it. My friend, go and find out to give your wife attention and stop all this big cream. Saturday, shouldn't you be spending time with your husband? <laughs> I'm going to get my pedicure done. Pedicure? Glammed up like this. Hmm. I'm going to the movies afterwards. With who? A friend. Don't wait up!
Where are you coming from? This habit of yours has to stop. Habit? <laughs> I go out two or three times and it's a habit? You're never home at this time. I'm even surprised. Why are you home? Did something change? Am I missing something? I can stay at home whenever I choose to stay at home. But you won't stay in my house and go out and come back oh, as you please. please. Just stop. Stop with this, my house, my house, my house. What house? If you want me out of here, you can see and I'll be out in a second. My father definitely has a bigger house. I don't have time for this, I had a long day. Good night. I had so much fun. So did I. This past two days, have been amazing. It was for me too. <laughs> Chris, no. What are you doing? This is my home. My husband. Come on now. My husband could just. My, God, my husband could be home. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Apologies. Listen, you're a great guy. All right. But this, it, it can't work. I'm married. I mean, my husband is a lot. He is. I'm not trying to cheat on him. I respect that. I really do. It's fine. I had fun, okay? So did I. So did I. Alright, I'll see you around. Take care of yourself, okay? Drive safe. You too, though. What said on the phone? Oh, okay. Fine, thank you, ma'am. Yes, um, we need that little family meeting. Yeah. Adolako, please, sir. Welcome, ma'am. What's going on? I can no longer tolerate the everyday calls I receive from the both of you. Oh, she calls you too? Yeah, I called her initially, offering her a piece of advice. But now, it's either you're calling me or she's calling me. And now my blood pressure is rising. Auntie B, please stop exaggerating. Me, Cheryl, I can show you my doctor's report. Marriage can be easy. And it can be tough. It's either you build and shape in each other, or you destroy and tear each other apart. It's a bashy thing. Well, Auntie, two people can't work together unless they agree. No, they cannot. But well, Akin has refused to agree with me. Oh, come on. Stop this victim game that you're playing. Oh, I'm not trying to be a victim. You're a sloppy cheat. Auntie, you know his girlfriend brings kids here. And she calls incessantly. And she brings men to the house. Say that again, Akin. I dare you. Let the earth register that you're accusing me of something you're shamelessly guilty of. Look into my eyes and say it. Maybe I'll calm down. Yeah? And you know he cheats to my face. He doesn't hide it. Like I don't matter. Like my dignity doesn't matter. 
Sorry about that. Hmm? Akin. Akinola. You mean that all that we discussed, you came back and did nothing. Nothing changed. I am so disappointed in you, Akinola. Kilo day now. Eh? See, you can't win by breaking her heart. She cannot win by destroying you. When you win, you win together. And when you lose, you lose together. See, this situation right now, here, Debbie is the only one winning. And your egos, they have succeeded in tearing you apart. And you're not even seeing it. Huh? Auntie B just left. Oh, really? Oh, well, I was just about to serve the table. Well, she doesn't like driving at night. What did you make? Pasta. Can I have some of it? It's it's not pane diamond egusi. I know. I don't mind. I wanted to be here when you awake. What is that smell? Oh, I'm making breakfast. You're making breakfast like you're trying to burn down the house. I am making breakfast for you. Huh? Yeah. Why? You're my wife. I wanted to do something nice for you. This is your way of apologizing for cheating on me. Yep. Scrap that. Cheating is too small a word to describe what you've been doing. She's practically your second wife and please, whatever you have to say next, think. Because whatever you say now could either make or break what is left of this relationship? Mabel. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. He's sorry. What was that Debbie fiasco? What was it about? She was an error in judgment. Wrong. She was a choice you kept making over and over and over again. I am sorry that I hurt you, Mabel. Listen, I know that I messed up. Okay, I messed up big time. But I am sorry, okay? I'm going to make it up to you. I'm going to make it up to us. Maybe we'll try something different today. You must be exhausted. 
No, not at all. I mean, I'm a boss at the office, so everyone answers to me. It was fun, actually. I made dinner. Hmm. Nice. Well, I already had dinner, so. Oh, you love this one. It's one of your favorites. What's this? I don't understand. <sighs> like I said, things are going to be different around here moving forward, okay? You are looking at a changed man. This is for you. Dinner's ready. Mm. Yeah. Oh. I just made it hoping it would be delicious. I followed Auntie B's recipe. Mm. Oh, I see. Yeah. You should try it. Better still. I'll feed you. Uh, come in. Come on. But that come is on, such you. a big swallow. Don't worry, it's, it's good. Let's go. <clears throat> you cooked it, right? Come on. Mmm. How is that? Yummy. Ah, that is so terrible. I, my mouth is on fire. Did you taste this food? No. I... First rule of cooking. Always taste your food. Always. Oof. What was I thinking? What? We could just... I mean, this is clearly not working, so. Take a drink. Absolutely. Sign me up. Mm. <coughs> what? Oh my god. That is, you, you need to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. You sure you don't need help? Oh, I can't. That's not a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I will never hurt you, my love. Mm. Mm. Push man. You let Oh god, I can't have done. That's fine. No. It is. I need to get you drunk tonight. Hey, you remember it. Of course. Why would I remember? Guess what? I booked us dinner at a fancy restaurant. Mm -hmm. So all I need you to do is be close to your phone because I'll send you the details later. All right? 7 p.m. Okay. Deal? Sure. Get up. You're going to be late for work. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. mm.
Hello, handsome. What is this? Your gift. How did I fall for this crap again? Because you love me. Stop. Excuse me. Just gonna use your bathroom. Yeah, sure. Debbie, no more gimmicks. We're done. This relationship is over. So that's it? You don't even get to do a celebratory red wine toast? Come on, it's been our tradition for years. After everything we've shared, let's just do a final one. Please. Fine. Thank you. Why is my head banging? You slept off. How? Did you drug me? Sweetie, that is ridiculous. <laughs> I can't relax. What are you doing? Relax. No. Stay away from me. I don't ever want to see you again. And I mean it. Uh, Akin! Why are you so angry? What did I even do, safe? Anyways, I'm sure that you'll come back. I'll be waiting. but I feel like there's no explanation that is going to make up for the disappointment. I'm not disappointed. I'm eliminated. Baby, we can have a do-over. 
Really? Yes. I keep giving you chances. You keep shoving it down my throat. I can't I'm done. She drugged me. Oh, please. Come up with a better excuse. It's the truth, okay? She drugged me. I keep trying. But no. You do not want to be responsible. Babe. I'm telling you the truth. I went over there to properly break up with her. And you couldn't do that over the phone. That is what normal people do, Aki. I'm sorry. Okay, I know that I shouldn't have gone there. It, it was very stupid of me. I realize that now, but I'm telling you that nothing happened. Debbie and I are done. We are over. I, I promise. Look, I told her that I have a wife. I want to focus on us. Okay? Babe. I'm really sorry, just please give me this last chance. Please. Mabel, I love you. It's on your body. Sorry for you waiting. <laughs> You're a baby. Ah, no, no, no. Auntie, this is one. Two. One, please, no. Anyway, I hope you brought a very huge appetite. Very huge one. That's the spirit. Just give me a moment. Take your time, Mo. Joe, oh, dear, dear. I was all up in your space doing check time and the midnight when the lights are I'll be headed to your bed with your hood smile then I realize I believe a lot time to brace up no thinking twice I can 